Kevin Courtney is Joint General Secretary of the National Education Union, the NEU. Morning, Kevin. Morning, Rachel. A lot of schools would have had their own masks policy in place anyway. So how much of a difference will this make to your members? Well, I think it's a step in the right direction to get this clear guidance from government sent out yesterday on, on Sunday afternoon to all the head teachers. So it's mask wearing for every child in year seven and above in communal areas and all adults and visitors to the schools. And as I understand it, also adults and visitors in primary schools in communal areas. That's my reading of what the government's saying, mask wearing for them. And we think that's sensible. We think it's a way of reducing disruption to education. We think they should go further and say that at least in secondary schools, the mask wearing should be happening in classes as well. Uh, because what we're seeing is cases going up so fast in school students and then children having to be off school when they test positive. And we've got hundreds of thousands of children off school with COVID related reasons. The new variant might make that worse because not only do you have to stay off if you test positive with the new variant, but the government advice is that you have to stay off if you are a close contact of someone who so tested it, positive. Yeah, is your understanding that that applies to school children as well? Because obviously that changed um, over the summer, didn't it? So you could have a positive case within the home, but everyone else in the family was still fine for going to work and school. Is that all going to change now? Yeah, when the government changed it so that if you were double vac if you were fully vaccinated, that's right, and you were a close contact, you could still go to uh, to school, or, you could, or, or your business normally. Yeah, or if you were under eighteen, and, and and that also applied to anybody who was under eighteen. Yeah, and both of those have changed. So if you're a close contact of someone with the Omicron variant, then you have to isolate for 10 days, whatever your vaccine status and whatever your age. But I'm a bit confused because so, they're not going to sequence every single um, sample, are they? So no, how I agree will with they your know? About, <laughs> how will yeah. they know if you're testing positive with the Omicron variant or not? We That's a question I intend to ask of the government today because... Uh, I mean, clearly they're saying this because they're worried. They want to try and stop the spread of this new variant in our society. And I'm sure we all want to try and do that because, you know, vaccination is clearly the way out of this. And we hope vaccination will still resist this new variant almost as strongly as it resists the, the previous variant. But with that degree of uncertainty about this new one, whether it's got vaccine escape, clearly they want to try and stop it spreading in our society. So they want to go that bit further so, and say, if you're a close contact of someone with this, you have to isolate. Do you, but sorry, how are they going to know yeah. whether you're a close contact of some, uh, someone with Omicron or, or Delta? I don't know. So there's an obvious problem there. But do you think, what what is the NEU's position? Do you think children should be uh, isolating if they're a close contact? Well, that's the government's position, that if they're a close contact of someone with the new variant... That yeah, they I understand to... that, but but, do you, but, do, but as we've said, there's a problem with that because we can't really identify who's got what kind of COVID. Do you think anyone who tests positive, any child who tests positive, should be self-isolating if they're a close contact? Or do you think children should just be exempt from those self-isolation rules? Well, what we've been calling for with the Delta variant is something slightly more than the government's been doing in Westminster, but the same as the government in Scotland has been doing. In Scotland, if you're a very close contact, and that essentially means brother or sister, if you're, if you're the brother or sister of a child who tests positive in Scotland, you have to stay off for three days, get a PCR test, and only go back to school if your PCR test is negative. In England, if your brother or sister tests positive, you're just back in school the next day. Right. They're now saying they want you to do lateral flow tests at home, but there's a, there's a problem with making sure that happens. We think the Scottish method has actually led to less children globally being off school because it's led to less cases in school. Mm -hmm. So it's led to less disruption. So we would like the government to have done that with the Delta variant. Obviously, if you know you're a close contact of the Omicron variant, then it's 10 days isolation, the government says. Yeah, OK. Many thanks, Kevin. It's all, all a bit of a moving picture, isn't it? So we'll have to see what emerges. Kevin Courtney, who's the Joint General Secretary of the National Education Union.